Um, I like props. Mm -hmm. I like I like to break away from mm -hmm. the uh, uh, the routine of just going up there and speaking. And regrettably, the majority of what I do is that. And and I'll just use as an example. Uh, we have this expression that you're very familiar with called death by PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. I like PowerPoint. Not because I'm going to engage people in an hour long presentation, but if you if you go to the trouble to put together a PowerPoint uh, package, uh, I don't need to rehearse mm -hmm. uh, that building. Mm -hmm. I, I could put that picture up there and mm -hmm. five comments below it, and I could talk for 10 minutes about it. 55,000 square feet. Let me tell you what's in that building. I don't have to have that script out. So I, every once in a while, I have something else to refer to. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if I had, if I had this sitting there and I said, and, and global travel is important. Mm -hmm. I picked up this in India. Mm -hmm. I went to India and I met the most fantastic people. This is, I don't know. Ganesh. Who? Ganesh. Ganesh, thank you. you you're great. I could remember. I was looking mm -hmm. to see if I'd written about about it. This was a gift from Laurie oh. when she came back. And um, and I, although I'm acting like I'm really calm, I just picked this up and knew it was here. Little did I know I would expose myself as not knowing anywhere near as you do. But the point is, I think I think it enhances your presentation. Uh, and um, I, I I have a I have a friend uh, who was a, a dean of students at a college once uh, years ago, and he. Um, he talked about the importance of, it It was his favorite thing to do when he talked to students who like orientation to college. There were all these fresh faced people sitting there and he was talking about, you have to do this, you gotta take care of your life, you gotta have work, you gotta keep your relationships intact, you gotta juggle. And then he pulled out three tennis balls. Mm -hmm. And he would keep talking, he wouldn't make reference to the tennis balls, and he would start juggling. Mm -hmm. And of course you're, you're following it and not necessarily hearing his words sometimes, but the concept of juggling your life, juggling your time, juggling mm -hmm. your relationships was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he was juggling, he shoved the balls back in his mm -hmm. pocket, he would talk a little more, he'd go sit mm -hmm. down, never mentioning juggling, but you mm -hmm. didn't miss when you walked away that, mm -hmm. yeah, my life, yeah, my life is like that. I gotta mm -hmm. space it out. So I think props are great. Uh, I, uh, I can overdo PowerPoint and uh, what, you, what you're not aware of. I did. This is a prop I had. I have my projector, mm -hmm. and my laptop is in that closet, mm -hmm. and I, well, in many cases, don't go anywhere without it. And when I do so, I have my, I have my uh, thumb drive so at the ready, and I know pretty much on, on what. And uh, I decide when I'm going to use it and when I'm not. There are times when I say, this is not the audience to use mm -hmm. PowerPoint or I like visuals. I think I'm trying to sell the transformation of the college from the old to the new, and I can say what it was like here 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats me putting a, a black and white photograph up there from the 1950s, mm -hmm. and then flash that picture up, mm -hmm. and my message is very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, we really have transformed. Um, I was a very insecure young man. I'm going to tell you that this is, this is, I, I prefer you not quote any of this. Yeah. I had acne to 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 a degree that I was I was hiding all the time. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I mean, I just I, I mean, and, it was, and I, I talk about it because it made emotional scars for me. I really did. I had a terrible time, mm -hmm. and uh, I I couldn't I couldn't deal with it. And uh, and I remember that. Insecurity when I grew out of that mm. was still there. That people were looking at me, and, and mm. it's funny. I, I, have, I have another story I'll put in on it, may have some of your viewers here. Mm. Um, so, everything I did in my public speaking class was, was overdone. I have a five minute speech on convincing somebody, or whatever. Mm. I would practice for an hour. Mm. It would be sickening because I hated it. I was just over and over and over and over, mm. but I never fell away. Mm. But having been on the stage, if you will, more and more times over these decades, mm. I don't feel that I have to prep that long, but I've never forgotten the value of mm. taking a few minutes and writing something down mm. 
And uh, more importantly, you will ultimately develop a level of confidence where you can ease off on that a bit. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, I never, I've never felt comfortable, and I don't want to feel so comfortable that I can just go up and wing it and just talk and talk and talk. Mm -hmm. Even though you could, I could do it periodically. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that to me is an important message. Do your homework, practice best you can, and you will slowly, get, you'll get better and better at it and be able to mm -hmm. ease off of that level of preparation. Mm -hmm. um, it's something I live by today. I built a piece of paper in my pocket from yesterday. It was in my different jacket, but I thought if Phil asked me these questions, I'd do. But my point is, um, I think it's a, I think it's important. You ask what message I would give, and that's the message: the more you speak, the better you'll be at it, and the more confident you'll feel. And I can't emphasize enough that know your subject. If somebody says to me, "Will you give a speech on toothpaste?" I'm thinking, I don't. He said, "Well, let me. Where I got to go study and figure out?" And you, I don't learn the chemical compound, learn the technology, how they make it, or when the first mm -hmm. toothpaste was made. Mm -hmm. and, and that seems so trivial, but the reality is, I think it was a, it's a way to force me to say, you gotta know your topic before you go speak. Mm -hmm. And I say no, I mean, to the degree that you can. Mm -hmm. And the more you can speak from your heart, the more convincing you will be. Mm 